What's up guys, this is Mark, your president of Studio 346. And today, in this dev vlog, we're going to be taking a look at the Century of Steam demo for the National Narrow Gauge Convention. If you're one of our patrons, we're at the convention right now, but if you're not, this is coming out the month after we were at the convention and uh, we had a lot of fun. But let's get into it. We wanted to show you all of the fun things along the way as we load into our level here. This animation was put together by Wings and Strings, and they're quite legendary with their work. Well, look at all the fun little details. Okay, here we are in the demo as everything boots up. The, as it says here, this is a pre-alpha stage of development demo. It's really just a tech demo showing off what it feels like to operate a locomotive in the game. Just a little taster, a little teaser. And of course, a little teaser of some other things that may be to come as well. Pay no attention to that ghostly whistle. <laughs> Here we are in the demo. We're at our town of Andrews in California. This is a decent little demo of what the South Pacific Coast Railroad might have looked like back in the day. We've got a nice curated consist put together here with our Baldwin 10-26D 46010 wheeler at the head end here. And we're going to be able to take this thing out, experience what it's like to operate it, both as an engineer and as a fireman, and see what everything plays like and sounds like in the game. Our biggest miss in the trailer, we all feel, is that it was not gameplay, everyone said, but uh, actually it was. And we were just being very cinematic with the camera. This is all what the game looks like. So without further ado, let's jump into the cab and see what things are like here, shall we? I pressed P and I teleport right to the engineer's seat. I can also click on the fireman's seat and take over and sit in one spot without worry of falling out of the locomotive. There's also some fun things around. <laughs> Let's get some windows open. It's a little stuffy in here. It's definitely hot in a locomotive cab and uh, particularly hot in a locomotive cab in California. But before we get going, uh, I, I want to pick which whistle I want to use. I mean, we've got a nice one on there already. But it's one you guys have heard already. So I press Z, and that pulls up our whistle selection menu. And we've also got options to turn on the headlight, operate the bell, and as well blow the whistle from the menu here so that we can rail fan and get a good grade crossing while we're watching. But we've got quite the list of whistles here. Everyone is asking, what's in the game? Do you have this whistle? Do you have this whistle? What about this one? Well, uh, we've got a lot. We've got many to pick from. A whole, a whole mess of whistles to pick from. So hopefully you see your favorite in this list and know that it's uh, not exhaustive. We do actually have a couple of these whistles uh, hidden because they're a little bit too spicy for public consumption yet. And as well, we're always adding more. So... Oh, let's see. I, I do quite like some of these, but I want to make sure you guys get to hear a new one that you haven't heard before. Let's see. Grand Trunk. Grand Trunk. Sure, why not? We like this. Grand Trunk. Grand Trunk. <laughs> there may or may not be other devs in my house watching me film this. It's fine. They're peanut gallerying. We, uh, we have fun here. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to take us around the little loop of track we have here at the convention level. And uh, we're going to experience what it's like to be an engineer and the sights and the sounds of the locomotive. But first things first, uh, the air's dumped, so we better recharge that. That's all set up. Cylinder drains are open, so let's highball. Nicely take the slack up, and I'm gonna start giving it the beans. All right, that's far enough with the cylinder drains open, so we'll get those closed up just nicely like that. Alright, we've got some places to be, 
and we've got a steep grade coming out of Andrews here. We're on the main track, so we can definitely get up to speed quite easily here. So we've got this thing wide open. Nice clean stack, because we haven't touched any firing controls. And for the ease of the demo, the firing controls and the engineer's controls are desynced. We didn't want to, folks who are not familiar with oil burning to end up running out of steam, so disconnected for the moment. Getting some speed, so we'll bring back the bar, hook it up a little bit. Looks like all the train's with us. We handled it nicely, didn't break any links. That's always good. And we're losing a little speed on the hill, so I'm just gonna give it a little bit more bar. This is a heavy train, and it's a pretty steep grade out of Andrews here. And the sign says slow, but thankfully we're, uh, we're only doing probably 10 mile an hour right now, so that's just fine. I'm holding right click to zoom in. See what's up ahead. We've got the tunnel on the approach here. We're really slowing down, so I'm gonna give it everything she's got. And we're gonna get a warning whistle for our tunnel here. It's starting to get a little dark out, so I'm gonna hop out on the running board by pressing four, kick on our dynamo, hop back in, cab lights slowly come to life here. And South Pacific Coast engines were strange in that their headlight switch was over here on this side. Fireman's side controls the headlight, so we've got that all set up. And we can see that the heat haze is being blown all around the tunnel. Uh, <laughs> We're working the engine pretty hard and it's blowing uh, a little bit of smoke and heat all over the place. It's nice and uncomfortable. All right, we're getting some speed coming out of the tunnel now, so we're gonna hook it up a little bit and let this thing run. We got a crossing coming up though. side of this curve. Got lots of fun little buildings here. We're in La Los Robles, California here, which is fun. Another little town. Let's see your uh, steamship friends out there. That was the whistle you heard right at the beginning. Steamship saying hello. And we got some places to be. So we're going to keep this thing uh, nice and nice and quick here as we come across the back half of the level. Entering the town of Calico. We're not stopping. And we got another crossing coming up too. Let's see, we're passing some tankers staged at the, uh, the oil house there. Coming up to our next tunnel here. You've definitely seen kind of what the uh, the engineer side of things is, so I'm gonna start firing a little bit, I think, as we come around for this next next batch on the level. We're working the engine pretty hard, so I'm gonna kick open our people. You can see we've got a good hot fire in there, but we need a little more oil. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get black lung. Oh, geez. Now we might as well go commit to the bit, shall we? <laughs> That's a lot of oil. We don't like that. We're gonna we're gonna dial it back. And we're still a little hazy, so we're gonna open up the dampers, get a little fresh air. Okay, that helps. And now we're gonna bring up the atomizer. And that cleaned the fire up nice and easy. And we're gonna shut back a little bit as we approach Andrews again. And I wanna and I wanna say a little bit about firing because obviously. 
those of us who operate steam locomotives understand a lot of these little finer bits about oil firing and all of the miscues of, oops, we, we let the atomizer go too far and then the fire got really mad. But a lot of folks who don't necessarily know those things may not know how all that stuff works. And we do want to say that uh, the, the internal saying we have is that we want the game to be 50% train, 50% game. If you want to oil fire the engine and have to fight it and accurately fire it with atomizer and a firing valve and everything and fire against what the engineer's doing, because of course, uh, if I were to shut off, you know, the, the fire gets pretty unhappy pretty quickly here. So everything reacts with everything. If you want that experience, you can certainly have it. But if you don't want that experience, or you're playing single player, oil firing and running at the same time is really hard. And we don't want to wish that upon anyone. So there'll be ways to have the fire taken care of for you. And if you're not interested in the crazy complex, we have to deal with everything like it's a real steam engine on the operational side too. We don't want to make this a digital job. We want to make this a fun experience that gets you the sights, sounds, and feel of a steam locomotive, not anything else. All right, we're coming back into Andrews where we started and we've gotten a whole tour of the layout here. So I'm just gonna get some speed behind this thing. And I think I think we'll do some rail fanning. Watch it do the thing. We can always warp back in with P in the demo here. It ought to slow down uh, when we get up to the hill here, so we'll watch it run out. Alright, we're gonna head it off at the pass here. Got a parkour over the fence. <laughs> we did advance the day-night cycle as well for the demo so that you could easily see the change between day and night. So we wanted everyone to get to experience the, the wonderfully curated lighting of both daytime and nighttime as well. Not just a bright daylight level, so in game it'll be much slower than this. I guess they need to blow that warning whistle for that tunnel, don't they? You know what? I think I want to ride the side of the car. It's not the safest place to ride, but, you know, it's a place that you can ride, and if you're riding a shove, a very good place to ride. Or we can just climb up on top. Maybe you want to tie some brakes. This train doesn't have an automatic, so, you know. Might want to tie it back. We're getting a little a little quick there. Goodness, that's a that's a rough joint right there. <laughs> Watching the cars bounce around. All right, now it's getting to be daytime. Let's go hop back down into the combine. We're in the baggage end. We don't really want to ride here, though, do we? I don't know. We're going pretty fast. I don't think I could get off if I tried. And get back on. Maybe I can. No, a little, little quick. Bye, train. <laughs> teleport back in and shut this thing back a little bit, shall we? You gotta love a beautiful sunrise. You also gotta love the uh, curated branding on the, uh, the tank cars here. Gotta love Poloro. That's some good stuff. Particularly when you got your, uh, your Model A's, Model B's, and all that fun stuff. Hop up and over top this thing. Ooh, shiny tank cars. We like shinies. Come on, guys. You gotta be ready to load the darn thing. 
Can we hop in? Still a little quick to jump on. There we are. Here we are. Combine. Baggage end. The other end is the RPO end. That's why there's a separate partition. You can sit and enjoy the scenery. Sit and watch the, uh, the silly stub switches go by. That's all good fun. Come on, train. We got places to be. Don't you know? I don't think we need the headlight on anymore. Daytime. FRA rules aren't there anymore, so let's turn that off. We're before the FRA. You don't have to have headlights. Oh, we've got a crossing up here. We're gonna have to phone this, guys. Come on. Well, I suppose we can just let the uh, the train wander on out of town, and they've got a noob fireman on board, and he's just really overfiring the heck out of it. So, uh, we'll, we'll see if they make the hill. Hopefully they will. We can check out the town of Andrews while we're here. Lots of little amenities. Water tower, wood stage. Got our freight office and, and station here. Little telegraph desk and everything inside. That's all fun. Got a nice little town full of wonderfully curated buildings. They've got beer, blackjack, and burlesque there. Well, that's fun. That sounds like the place to be. <laughs> it's a cute little town. Somebody had a bad day there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get a boat. I'm gonna go get on a boat. Uh, nobody. Uh, night shift did it. Night shift did it. Not me. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Century of Steam National Narrow Gauge Convention demo. I hope you liked uh, a little taste of what locomotives are like and what they sound like and what they feel like and. Uh, what, what they derail. And uh, just note that it's all pre-alpha. Every little piece of it.
So more wonderful things to come, more updates to come, fine tuning, uh, and uh, lots of neat little extra features. So what you've seen here is only going to get better. So uh, I'm going to get on a boat before bo uh, management finds out. And thank you guys for watching, and thank you for your love and support. Who the hell derailed this train?